Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. We're gonna continue our series of video about the Kia Stinger and it's now time to look inside. But beware, this is a German fighter, yes, but it's not as well finished inside. You know, you won't find the same real quality as in the German Contender, but get prepared because you will get a lot of equipment even with the base version and that's what Kia is known for. So get ready. The inside of the Kia Stinger right now at Car Question. Let's open the door of that Kia Stinger and you will see a sober interior. This one is black but you can customize it a little bit though. You've got a few choice of color but what I like is the GT inscription right there on the headrests. You've got the stitches that are really nice. A lot of quality when it comes to the seat though. Inside it, it's a little bit more conservative though when it comes to the use of materials. When you look at the top of the steering wheel here, the finishing is not that bad, but it's not that great either when you compare it to the Germans. As you can see down there, the stitches right there, but you've got that seat extension, a lot of adjustment though. Stinger mentioned right there at the bottom on the map, and you've got a little bit of silver addition right there on the side though. In the door, nice finishing, nice handle, the memory seating are all here. You've got some Arm and Carden speaker, and this is a nice sound system, by the way. The buttons are all easily accessible, and you've got a nice finishing, that nice handle when you're gonna close the door, and that's what we're gonna do, so. Oh, it's reminding me of another German car when you look at it that way. So really nice though, nice, nice finishing, nice styling, sober once again. But what I cannot forget is the plastic sometimes, the choice of material. And yes, it's going to crack when you're going to be rolling. And look at that, a little bit of stitches right here that you can see are kind of not really perfect though. But still, they're great on the seat. And remember, this car has... 17,000 kilometers so it's really really a lot of kilometers for a car for a press car I'm gonna switch to English and yes kill the climatization because it's really hot out here and uh, I'm kind of sorry because my English is getting bad and bad as soon as it's as it's as there's a lot of heat in the room though so sorry about that guys but still we're gonna make a nice roundup of that nice Kia Stinger starting with that section right here on the side so you've got all your security feature that you can access and by the way way down there when you look at it uh, you've got some um, metallic pedal and I love the feeling of those ones so nice paddle shift right here also and look at that a flat bottom steering wheels with the gt mention right here on the side so right there in the middle of the screen you've got the possibility to change the display when you press on that button this is probably the more sporty display that you can get so the gadgets the old tam the torque the boost and when you switch it down um right there you got the lap timer you've got the g-force meter that you can use so if you're in track mode you've got the drive mode comfort that you can display so if you're more economic or more aggressive you will see a line and by the way the drive mode you change it through here so there's a button right there so you can simply turn it so the first thing that it's going to change is the display right there the sports is custom mode so different color if you want but it's going to be also displayed right there in the center when you turn it and uh, yes my favorite setting is the sports mode so it's going to be in red otherwise when you press on the next display so this is the gps feature the security system feature and you can customize the heads up display the driver assistant doors lights on convenience a lot of stuff inside that uh, kia stinger so let's get back to kilometers per hour which is uh, by the way in the menu that i've skipped so let's get back here this one i've skipped it so fuel economy the average the accumulated trip info 
uh, the drive info of right now the kilometers per hour and the drive mode configuration so there you go and by the way look at the dial right here so you've got 0 to 100 but look at that the the last quarter uh, or should I say the last half part of the of the speedometer is going up to 300 kilometers so I love how it's get graduate when you look at that so the different button for your phone the volume the mode right here the cruise control easily accessible and yes I love those paddle shifter even if it's going to change because you don't have any manual modes uh, inside that car right here on the shifter another thing that I like is that each time you modify something let's say that I use a wiper from auto to off you can see it and it's the same thing also for the headlights let's say that I move into auto or close them so depending on the version that you're going to choose you might have a seven inches screen or eight inches screen with a system that I really like it's really easy to use it's going to give you nice responses it's going to be really fast and by the way inside that car the XM uh, satellite station is not really working but you have an awesome powerful mega base 15 speakers 720 watts Harman Kardon system different vents right there that you can turn on or off and you've got the possibility to access every configuration of that uh, screen with the button that you have right here so let's say to switch to radio you've got that if you press on the media it's going to go right there to my phone and stream uh, the music with the bluetooth feature so let's see but, uh, i don't know i don't think i don't think i have any sound configured right now but anyway let's press on maps navigation and setup you don't have a performance display though you can adjust the vehicle uh, custom custom settings uh, to the type of performance that you like but you don't really have an application that gives you a really nice display though about g-force acceleration power name it you know just like some american model though so when you look at the section right here really nice metallic part of way and you've got the temperature the climate zone which is really normal just like in other Kia so it's a dual zone section and when you check down there auxiliary USB and you've got a QI charger so even with my big S9 with the, the, the plus version with the case it's going to fit in there and that's what I like so the shifter right here amazing grip amazing I really love it and the best feature should have been to add a manual mode to that one but I don't know they skip it so it's kind of sad because they had such a great shifter so why not give me a real manual setting instead of uh, something that's going to change with its own mind either way you've got the park and by the way a lot of people that uh, that took place in the car try to move it back into park with that <laughs> that movement but no you have to press on the button right here so that is also really strange two cup holders you've got the drive mode that I was talking to you about the auto hold brake feature and the traction control that you can turn completely off right here so if you want some nice cool seat you do that and if you want some hot seat comfort that's going to be like that and you can close it really nice design by the way so uh heated steering wheels uh you've got the camera and you've got the start and stop feature right here learn its position because you will want to close it a lot of time so 360 degree view camera can be accessed through here but the car needs to run if you want to see it i'm going to put it into reverse and uh, you will see nice quality though it's not one of the best but I really like the 360 degree feature that you have right here in the car so I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want to make it any other inside the garage so you've got a nice armrest though kind of firm and you've got that uh, little storage compartment by the way that part is broken so somebody must have been doing a bad job or simply didn't took care of it so it's kind of broken so there you go storage space with led lights and you've got also led lights up there you've got some glasses compartment you've got the Euro uh, feature that you can press right here on the mirror and you've got your only garage the SOS feature Welcome I, to Kia Uvo. okay your services have not been activated no I know Go to the feature. <laughs> really funny so I cannot call so you need to configure your account so that you can use it so really nice finishing and by the way when you go with the limited model the top the roof finishing is going to be different so 
kind of impressive for the car. Let's go see in the rear seat. And by the way, I'm going to pull the hood. There you go. Whoop, doors are locked. What happened? <laughs> Let's unlock them. So kind of an easy access uh, to the rear, but you can see clearly that the line will probably um, remove some of your visibility when you're going to be watching outside. So still nice seat, nice stitches, 60-40 seat back in the rear. You've got a USB connector, some, some vents, and you've got some LED lightings also in the back. And you've got right there your armrest, armrest that you can pull. Let's pull that down and let's go check out the trunk. There you go. Slowly opening and yes, this is the perfect stuff to hide. Uh, I'm going to move back Mr. Jim bag. There you go. And you can see it's nearly a flat floor. So it's kind of impressive. So LED lights also in the back over here. And the thing that I like with that car is right there under. So you've got all the stuff that you need to change a tire. And by the way, this is not a tire repair kit. This is a real spare tire. So it's getting more and more rare these days that we have a full spare tire kit. I don't like those tire repair kits because I don't have any success with, that, with them a lot of time. So turbo engine, twin turbo, ça c'est de la puissance. This is power, my friends. You're gonna see that it's really impressive when it's gonna come to acceleration. Uh, two air filters, but as you can see right here, if you want to change them, you will need to remove those braces and that uh, section up in front, or maybe just one part of that braces though. Anyway, I'm not a mechanic, but this is going to be more complicated than usual. And remember, turbo power means more maintenance, and they're really well hidden down there, so maintenance on your car might not be easy. But still, this is powerful. The oil really in the back there, so kind of far. And if you want to change the washer fluid, it's going to be right there on the side. And you've got your battery connectors that you can access from here. Really easy to close. So nice and sober interior. So a lot of equipment though for the price. told you, huh? it's still a nice interior, a black accent with that one. You can change the color if you want with a few option package. The seat are comfortable. You've got enough space inside for you, for your passenger, for your luggage, and it's a sports car. But still, it's missing that little exotic touch that I really like with the German contenders. How about you guys? Feel free to comment down there below in that section what you like about the interior of the Stinger. And next is gonna be the performance, the specification, the road and link, and how we like to drive that car at Car Question. So subscribe because you don't wanna miss that. Do a thumbs up and see you later, guys.